resource and have visibility over production capacity and time. Use of materials and production orders can now be managed flexibly. We now have the ability to manage byproducts. Let's go to the system and see how this works. Here we have SAP Business One 9.1. Let's start by going to resources and open up resource master data. We already have here some resources defined, so let's choose one. Resource master data is like business partner and inventory master data. We have always the numbering and the different tabs here. But what is new, we have resource types. We can either have machine, labor, or other types of resources. Then the next one, what we have is a resource group. This can be freely defined. We have defined here three different groups. Let's open this definition up. And we can see for machines, we have uh, defined default costs for electricity and water. We can define up to 10 different costs. This will be always defaulted then in resource master data once we select the group here. Of course, user can manually adjust these costs if so required. Then we have resource uh, time units. Here, in this case, one hour, one uh, unit per time period. And our general tab, we have the issue methods, backflash or manual and resource allocation, either automatic or on due date. On due date is the default one, but in this case, we have automatic. I will show the effect of this later on in addition. Then we have capacity data per warehouse for the selected time period. Then we have planning data. Here we have daily capacity factors, eight hours, and two shifts, and this results in 16 hours of daily capacity. We have 